and thank you for your interest in our Learn to Sail with Multimedia CD-ROM. My name is Linda Cullum and I'm going to show you a little bit of how our program works. Here we see the main table of contents starting with the boat and in the boat we also have subtopics of moving the boat, sailing wear, parts of a boat, rigging. Let's look at parts of a boat. In here are all the parts of the boat. Um, you can click on different parts and up comes a description and if you click on the mainsail, up comes a lot more for the mainsail and again uh, more description of the different parts of the mainsail. Um, you go through all this, there's quite a bit to it and when you're done there's a quiz on the section. Uh, the next area you would want to go to would be the boat handling and then here we have several topics starting with the wind all the way down to more maneuvers the lessons run in all topics from top to bottom and left to right so we'll start with the wind and then the subtopics here as well wind theory now the icons here this is for narration this is for hearing impaired uh, since I'm using the mic today um, we'll click on the hearing impaired which displays the text that I'm speaking uh, it is important to know how the wind moves the boat forward even when it is blowing from the side or over the bow. Here the wind comes from the stern, hits the sail creating a pocket of non-resistant dead air. This causes the sail to be pushed along in front of the wind moving the boat forward. In this diagram the wind is coming from over the starboard side. Look at the wind passing over the sail. Now I'm not going to continue with this lesson, I'm just here to demo how it all works and as you can see narration goes along with the um, lesson as well as digital video which I'll show you in a few minutes. These here are hot words that you can click on when they come up. It gives you a little more information on the topic that you're studying at that time. We also have um, a dictionary of sailing terms that you can call up at any time and you can minimize it down below and also a glossary of nautical words. These are handy throughout the program at any time that you need to look up a word. Uh, the other topics in here I'll show you coming about. This is turning the boat around. Coming about, also known as tacking, is changing the course of the boat by turning the boat into and through the wind. The sails move from one side of the boat to the other. Click on each boat starting at the bottom for more detail. And that's exactly what we do. We click here and it tells you what's going on at that beginning part of the maneuver. As you head on into it, here you'll find out that the crew shouts ready and you as the captain would respond with heartily and you would push the tiller towards the sail to turn the boat into the wind. And we also have video demos on this it's from Sail Magazine. All of our videos have audio with them. This uh, one right now doesn't because I am using the microphone and I can't have two audio sources happening at the same time. Um, but everything is described very well as you go through the maneuvers. You can also at any time m maximize your screens and um, so that you can uh, have you know somewhat larger videos etc. So these are all the topics that we cover and each one goes in quite a bit of detail. Jibing is another way of turning the boat around with the wind behind you. Sailing a triangular course is using all the points of sail, which is a big study area here. Um, the points of sail are just all the um, different tacks and reaches that you would use um, sailing. So uh, you go through each one of these and then after you're done you practice all of the points of sail by sailing a triangular course. We also cover person overboard and capsizing. All of this is in the um, boat handling. Now the other topics we have, knots and cordage. We have 11 different sea knots in here. Also types of line, how to use line, how to splice a little bit. Whipping, um, this is another um, uh, maneuver of not tying. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at the bowlin, for instance. It's one of the popular sea knots. We have, um, to show you the four graphic steps and a description and what the knot is used for. And then the bowlin knot. And there's audio to this and um, you can pause it at any time and practice along with the line. 
We also include Lyme with the program so that you can practice along with it. And then there's a quiz also on the knots, what they're used for. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a few knots in here. We also have a section on the rules of the road, um, which is basically all the things that you need to know about um, um, sailing safely. Um, it covers what to do when you run across other sailboats, but also power boats, um, people water skiing, or a fisher boat tra trawling, um, things like that. And there's quite a bit involved in this. The right of way rules do not technically come into effect between boats until the possibility of collision is there. So that's one thing to remember. Um, and you can print out a lot of this section here as well as other sections. Um, we also have an area on weather and it's for safe sailing, day sailing pretty much. Um, so you know whether you should go out or not during the day. Um, why is there weather? Becoming weather wise. Nice day to bad one. All about tides and current. Um, how to compensate for tides and current when you're sailing so you don't drift too far off your mark. Uh, there's quite a bit in the weather section as well. Um, in piloting, this is one of my favorite sections actually. Uh, it's coastal navigation and um, we have all the um, the compass, how it works, um, types of compasses. There are two types of poles, geographic north and south, true north and true south. Um, there's a great description about variation and deviation and it goes on a lot of bit of detail here. This is also from Sail Magazine and talks about how to compensate for your variation with the true north and the uh, true south, the magnetic north. Um, this, this section here has lots and lots of digital video in it. Uh, not only do we cover all of that, but um, there's how to read charts, how to do dead reckoning, um, all about your buoys, and how and different tools that you use for navigating. Advanced topic covers um, sailing theory, which is raking the mast, etc. All about spinnaker, how to do spinnaker trim, which is taught by Tom Whidden, who is um, Dennis Connor's tactician in America Cup. And he basically teaches us how to um, do spinnaker trim by using two fans and um, demonstrating the proper spinnaker trim for certain um, wind conditions. Uh, again, we can't hear the video right now, the audio of the video, because I'm speaking with the mic, but it's there, believe me. Um, once the spinnaker has been raised, the idea is to allow it to bellow out in front of the boat as much as possible. And this is done by easing the sheets or raising the pole with a topping lift. This, this section here tells you all about the spinnaker, the parts of the spinnaker, how to fold it properly so you can launch it quickly. Um, it's got a lot of video in here. And we talk about reefing the sail. And then for larger boats, how to use the winch. Um, then there's all our quizzes, and then the media showroom has all the vid digital video throughout the program in one area. So, say for instance you wanted to practice your knots, you could just go to the knots area and practice all of them. You wouldn't have to um, go through um, the whole knot section to find the cleat knot, for instance. So, um, that's what the uh, uh, media showroom is for. So that's about it. Um, there is over 150,000 lines of text. There's a lot that you can um, um, print out and you're quizzed on all the sections and um, it's a very, very handy tool for learning to sail. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please buy it. It's a great program. I think you'll get a lot out of it. And I wish you the very best in your sailing and thank you so much for, for listening to this demo. You have a great day. Thanks. Bye.